Snowflake and AWS partnership is getting stronger year after year, and there is a lot of investment and collaboration between both companies to deliver better outcome for our customers. I'm Sagar Kulkarni, partner sales engineer at Snowflake, and today I'm going to talk about Snowflake and Amazon SageMaker and the different integration points between these two platforms. Snowflake Data Cloud is uniquely designed to connect businesses globally across any type or scale of data with variety of different workloads and unlock seamless data collaboration. On the other hand, Amazon SageMaker is an automated platform on AWS, which simplifies the development, training, and deployment of machine learning models for any use cases. Both these platforms have various integration points. We have pre-built integration with Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler, a feature that provides an end-to-end -end solution to import, prepare, transform, and analyze data. We also have a pre-built integration with Amazon SageMaker Autopilot, a feature set that automates the process of building and deploying machine learning models, also called as AutoML. And lastly, we integrate with Amazon SageMaker Canvas, which gives you the ability to use machine learning to generate predictions without needing to write any code. Now here is the exciting bit. These pre-built integrations are great, but won't it be fantastic to use Amazon SageMaker to push eligible workload to Snowflake right where the data resides, saving time and money on unnecessary data movement. And that is why we now have Snowflake Snowpark integration with Amazon SageMaker Notebook instances. This integration allows you to push transformation which can benefit from running where the data resides and allows you to deploy ML models right into Snowflake for the purpose of batch inferencing. There are a variety of different use cases which take the advantage of the integrations between these two platforms. Let's look at one use case which is about predicting a machine failure. The data for the use case comes from Snowflake Marketplace as well as our secure data sharing capability. The data sets are secured and governed using Snowflake Data Cloud security and governance capabilities. A high level solution for this use case uses Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler with its pre integration with Snowflake to prepare the data. We also have Amazon SageMaker Notebook to push any eligible transformation to Snowflake using Snowpark. We then build and train the model in Amazon SageMaker training instance. Once the model is built, we deploy it in SageMaker and make it available as an endpoint, as well as we deploy it using Snowpark inside Snowflake for batch inferencing. Once deployed in Amazon SageMaker, you can make use of end-to-end -end model ops in SageMaker, as well as other features such as SageMaker Clarify to detect bias and SageMaker Experiments to track, visualize, and share model artifacts. We are also using Streamlit and open source app framework for machine learning and data science teams uh, to create a web application. Let's look at some high level steps of this solution. Let's log in to Snowflake and see the Streamlit app. So what we have done is we have developed a Streamlit app which is looking at the UDF, uh, which is deployed inside Snowflake. So the machine learning model is deployed inside Snowflake as a UDF. And this uh, Streamlit app is really a Python code, which is getting uh, the maintenance features and predicting when the machine will fail based on these uh, parameters. And it's predicting currently based on the parameters that it's 10% failure. And this is all interactive uh, dashboard or web app using Streamlit and editing it or creating, writing a code is very simple. You write in the Python code here and just run the app and then uh, you get the uh, Streamlit web app uh, inside uh, Snowflake. Now this is uh, going and looking at your UDF, uh, which is the predict uh, underscore failure, which is deployed inside Snowflake uh, using Snowpark. And this was pushed from Amazon SageMaker. So if I go back into my Snowflake uh, inside data and look for that UDF, uh, it's uh, in the functions and this is the UDF which was deployed uh, from the SageMaker notebook uh, inside Snowflake uh, using Snowpark. 
so that's the Snowflake page. Now let's uh, hop on to SageMaker and see what we have done inside SageMaker. So when you come inside SageMaker, the first thing you'll have to do is, is install the Snowpark libraries. Now there are two ways to install it. The first way is you can open the image terminal and customize this image uh, and install uh, your Snowpark, uh, Snowpark libraries. These libraries are there uh, onto a Git repository. So you can download from the Git repository and install it. Uh, all our packages are on the Anaconda channel and you can uh, use the Anaconda channel to uh, really install the packages that you have. The second uh, option is uh, using pip install uh, inside the notebook itself and that's what I've done. So if I go inside my notebook uh, inside SageMaker, uh, the first bit, so these are all the steps uh, that you have uh, inside this demo, but the first step is to connect to Snowflake and inside that step, the first thing that I do is install the Snowpark uh, libraries uh, using pip install. So you can do that and this is installing inside the notebook itself rather than installing uh, inside the image. And then once you have installed it, you can then start uh, really connecting to the Snowflake uh, instance. Now that's connect to Snowflake. Once you've connected to Snowflake, you can start exploring the data uh, inside Snowflake. Uh, now you can get the data from Snowflake into SageMaker and process it, or you can push it down to SageMaker using a Snowpark library, uh, sorry, push it down from SageMaker into Snowflake uh, uh, to really improve the performance and, and save money of unnecessary data movement. And if you look at some of the code here, uh, like explain, the explain, uh, plan that we have inside Snowflake, it's a metadata query. So the ability for users to look at what the query is doing uh, without really executing the query is really a huge benefit. And because it's a metadata query, it's not using any compute uh, for you. So it's, it's really good to start using some of the Snowflake features uh, from SageMaker instead of getting data uh, everything into SageMaker uh, makes sense, right? To start using those uh, Snowflake features, uh, such as, uh, you know, push down and using uh, queries which don't use the compute. Now, explore data, you then start creating the training data sets. This is where we are joining uh, some of the data. Uh, we then build uh, the model that uh, predicts uh, your uh, machine failure. Uh, we are using the random uh, forest algorithm for this. And then this is a code, uh, you know, the, you, the data scientist can go and look at this uh, code of creating uh, the model. And once the model has been uh, built, uh, we then deploy it to both Snowflake as well as the AWS uh, SageMaker or Amazon SageMaker. So when you deploy the model to Snowflake, what we are doing is we are taking the uh, pickle file and just deploying it as a UDF. So in here, you can see that I've created a UDF called predict failure, and then I'm deploying uh, the model inside uh, Snowflake as a UDF. Uh, and then the other bit is to really deploy it as the inside AWS. And here we can see that we are deploying it inside AWS. Once you've deployed it inside AWS, uh, then you can start using other uh, features of AWS such as Clarify to detect the bias. You can use the uh, model ops uh, capabilities inside SageMaker and so on. So in this instance, we are using Clarify. And what this does, it will detect the bias and give you a nice chart of that bias. And that is available inside SageMaker, inside your uh, experiment. So if I uh, go to my home experiments, uh, unassigned runs, and you can see this clarify uh, externality uh, run. Uh, it tells you uh, what is the bias and you can see the air temperature is the uh, feature uh, which has got the most uh, bias uh, inside this model. So again, so once you deploy the model inside SageMaker, you have got all the capabilities from SageMaker that you can use. And then because you deployed the model inside Snowflake as a UDF, you can also do batch inferencing. So again, going back to our steps. Uh, so the steps that we have uh, for this particular demo uh, is connect to Snowpark instance, uh, uh, connect to a Snowflake instance. Uh, we have uh, installed uh, Snowpark libraries, explored data using Snowpark, uh, create training data sets. Again, the joins where the data resides in Snowflake, push down the workload to Snowflake uh, for those joins, uh, create training data sets, 
build a model that predicts machine failure, deploy it in Snowflake uh, as a UDF for batch inferencing, for any third party tools to infer the model, deploy it in AWS for end to end uh, model ops and using other features such as autopilot, uh, clarify and so on. Uh, and uh, from there you can just start expanding uh, your end-to-end -end, uh, model ops capabilities using both Snowflake uh, and Amazon SageMaker. I want to end this session uh, by highlighting the partnership that we have with uh, AWS. It's a $2.5 billion strategic uh, partnership. And when we look from a customer perspective, we have got more than 84% of our customer base is deployed on AWS. If you look at the integration that we have with AWS services, uh, 22 plus services are integrated with Snowflake. Uh, and when we look at the regions uh, where Snowflake is available or can be deployed, 19 plus AWS regions where Snowflake uh, can be deployed. Uh, so really a fantastic uh, partnership which is uh, coming up and uh, just growing year after year. I hope you found this session helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to myself. So until next time, take care and be safe.